Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss another interesting question on the topic of binary tree. That is nothing but longest univariate path. So without wasting time, let's move on to the question and let's try to understand it. So in this question, we are provided with a binary tree. Let me create it. So one, four, 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 five, and here is one more five okay so this is the binary tree and what we need to do or what we need to return in this question is that we need to tell all we need to tell the number of nodes of a path okay number of nodes of a path having the same data so there may be there there may be possibility you don't get it but i'm trying to say but let's break the statement and let's then try to understand okay the first point is that in this question we need to find a path having the nodes value same for all the <coughs> For all the nodes okay so the first thing is that we need to find a path find a path for a path of a nodes whose values are same okay so here you can see that there are different types of paths so this is the one path this is the one path and these are the paths whose nodes values are exactly same here you can see that this path node uh, nodes values are four four and four similarly here the value are five and five similarly this this single node is also a path is also make one of the paths whose node value is nothing but one but what we need to tell in this question we uh, do we need to tell the node value no we don't need to tell the nodes value actually we just need to tell the number of nodes who actually make the biggest path having the same node value so here you can see that this this path have the three number of nodes this path have the one number of node and similarly this part have the this path have the two number of nodes so what will return we will return this path this value actually this three value so I hope you get the question what we need to tell we just need to find a path whose nodes value have exactly the same uh, exactly the same value and what we need to tell about this path we just need to tell the number of nodes of that path so that's all for this question let's move on to the understanding part like how do we approach to this question for that let me again create a binary here it is it was four 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 and here also it was four five and the five okay so uh, five, five. so now the basic approach like how do we approach to this question here i'm assuming like the first thing is that here in the question we are going to work in a post order okay post order that means at first we will make a call to our children and while we are making calls we are expecting them some information from them okay means the moment they start returning they the moment they start speaking to their parents they will return some information to their parents and that information is useful for that parent just because this information will help the parent to determine what uh, what it need to do so uh, so let's move to the uh, dry run and let's try to understand what information actually the parent the children return all the time so as i told you that here in this question we will work on the post order means at first we need to call to our children so the moment we uh, call this node this node will call to its parent that is it call this four similarly this uh, node calls to its parent that call to its children that is call this node the moment we come to this node this four it returns some information to its parent that is it returns two information first what is the value of its children what is the value of a node okay so i can say that each children node tell its parent that what is its children value that is what is its value along with the along with the value of the children node it also returns one more thing it also returns one more thing that is nothing but the longest <coughs> the height or we can say the height or the length the longest height or length of a path that exists till now that exists till this node having the same value node okay means it returns two value what was two values that is the value of that node value of that node and along this value it returns one more information what was that information the information was what is the uh what is the length of we can say the length breadth or even the height not the breadth the height okay just because we are performing the depth for sorry the breadth for search okay so length of the length of the path length of the path length of the longest path okay not the path length of the path having the nodes having the nodes with same value having the nodes with the same value okay we just need to tell uh means each node returns so uh, these two information to its parent so this node returns such information to its parent similarly this node returns this information to the parent the moment this information a parent received from its children 
what it does it tries to interpret it and then take some decision what the decision it takes let's try to understand it okay <coughs> sorry so this four will return something like this it, it's node value is nothing but four but the path the longest part that exists till now is one just because this path uh, this node is actually including itself nothing else similarly this uh node also returns something like this that is four and one just because it is including itself nothing else the moment this information reaches to this four there are some cases that arise for this four okay there are some options to this to this node so let's try to understand this option the first option that is what happen if the current node that is i am taking this parent node as a me node if that node value is same as the left dot data left dot data and same as the right dot data okay if such information is same means if that parent node has the same type of node in its left side and same type of node in the right side what do we do we need to update two things at first we update the length of that longest node how do we update it we update it with the left plus right plus one that is the maximum of left dot right plus one why just because <clears throat> this time what is happening we are assuming that we are taking the path that exists on the left side we are taking a path that exists on the right side and in that parent is actually including itself okay in that the parent is actually including itself second thing we need to update the height how do we update the height to update the height what we do we find the maximum of left comma right plus one and this way we update the height similarly the second case that arise what uh, what happen if the parent parent data is actually dissimilar from its left children and the right children means uh, let's understand it with for this one here you can see that this one children is nothing but this four and five so means this four returns some data to this one and this four returns some data to the to its parent that is this one and this five returns some data to its parent that is this one and the moment it start returning the data uh, the parent comes to know that both of my children both of my children that is this four and five have a different value node okay as they have different value nodes so i can write this if me is not equals to left dot data generally is not equals to right dot data if such a case arise if a, such a case arise what i'll do uh, my height will become my height will become okay the maximum maximum length of that path maximum length of that path will become one why just because this time the parent is saying that i am creating my path itself including myself okay means a new path will be created from me it's from me okay and i'm including in that path similarly i can update the height and also my height will become one why one just because there is only one node that is this node similarly the third case third case is very similar okay if the data of me is equals to the left dot data if the data is equals to the left dot data but not equals to the right dot data if such a case arise okay if the if the node on which i was working if the parent node data is equals to the left dot data but not equals to the right dot data or such a similar type of case like if the me dot data me data is equals to the right dot data but not equals to the uh, not equals to left dot data if such a case arise we need to handle them also okay so let me write the uh, fun workflow for these base condition if such a case arise what i'll do i will update my uh, length of the length of the path with left dot height plus one and similarly update the height with left dot height uh, plus one okay and similarly for the right hand case what i'll do similar uh, i here this time here i update my longest path with a right dot height plus one and the height with right dot height plus one okay so that's all for the explanation part i hope you get it so what we are going to do now we are going uh, we are going to move on to the path coding portal and there we write the code okay so let's start the code this is our path coding portal at first here you can see that this is the longest univariate path function we need to complete this function before writing a code into this function what we are going to do we are going to create a pair class so one more thing about uh, the pair class is that in the C++ there is a pair data structure but we are not going to use it. Why we are not going to use it? Just because we are going to study the concept in a generalized way. Means if you want to convert this code into the Java language, if you want to uh, want to that want to write that code in a Java language. In Java there is no such pair data structures. Okay, so there may be possibility that you will 
encounter some problem while you start writing this code into java so what we are going to do we are going to write the pair class and the, the same concept which we use in the java okay and one more thing about this you uh, uh, about of uh, about using the pair classes the more you use the 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 more you use the class classes and object the more you play with the class and object the better understand the better you understand about the uh, object oriented okay object oriented program so what we do we will create a, a first pair class so class pair and here i will at first create the public that is the public in data in data it will be int main similarly int height Will be nothing but int min also now let me create the constructor the first constructor here the second constructor it will take a data that is in data so here this data equals to data and this height equals to it goes to one now let me write the third constructor it is the pair and data equals to int height and height and this data equals to data and this height equals to height this height equals to height so we have completed the pair now let's move forward at first we'll create a variable global variable that is int max that will store our value int max equals to zero let me initialize it with zero so now at first let's complete the code of longest univariate path this method okay so what i'll do at first i will handle the case of null condition that if null encounter if we if root equals to if root become null what i'll do in this case i will just do nothing but return zero and now i will create a pair star answer and make a call to func method and actually i'm calling this func method right now okay i need to create this func method so let's create this func method here so func star Mm, pair star funk actually pair star funk mm, tree node star root okay tree node star root now if node is null what i'll do i will create a pair star base that is a temporary object and within that object let me pass some information that is the int min comma zero Int min comma zero and return base. Similarly, okay, so we have completed the if part. Now, similarly, moving forward, at first we make a left call, pair star right call. Okay, and let me create my self object that is new pair no dot well. not bad okay so it was func func not right similarly func node left okay so now let's write the if and else conditions there will be four conditions if Else, similarly, else, one more, else, and the moment we complete this condition, at last we return null. Why we are returning null? Just because in all the if and else conditions, we will return some value, 
and there may be a possibility that this null will never encounter and if that encounter that means uh, all the base case get handled easily okay so the first condition was nothing but if my data will become equal to the left data left data and me data will become equals to the right data so let me copy this information four times control c here the value the data will become non-equal here it become equal to the left data and here it become equal to the right data so here it become equal to the right data actually so i need to return i need to remove this but i was writing i was writing here right data here the data was become equal to the left data okay here the data was not equal the data was not equal similarly here the data wasn't equal okay i think something that missed out from here the data wasn't equal okay so we have written both the four conditions let me update some values within this condition that is max that updated with the max max okay left height left height plus right height left height plus left height plus right height plus me height okay left height plus right height plus me height similarly the second thing is me height let me include um uh, let me update it this me height max okay this hei gst this me height get updated with one plus max of one plus max of left height i gst left height and right height gi gst left height and right height and at last what i'll do i've written me such a case encounter i just written me similarly let me copy this for all the other remaining cases let me copy it okay i will update it as per the requirement so else if, if the data is not equal to the left children and the right children my max get updated with a max will become max of here max of left height okay yeah uh, my max will become max of max of left height max of right height and one max of left height max of right height not this me height comma one okay now the height will not get updated okay here in this case but i'll just return me similarly here let me uh, data in this case me height actually plus equals to uh, there is no max left height get updated with let me height get updated with plus equals to left height and at last return me and i need to update the max and in this case max become max of max become max of max of some value what will be that value it will uh, will be me height and the right height me height and the right height me height and the right height similarly here it get updated with max me height plus equals to plus equals to <clears throat> plus equals to right height actually this time it get updated with the right height and return me and here also max get updated with max of max of max of max of me height and left height me height and left height so i think the code is completed that's all for this code now what we are going to do we are going to run it and if we encounter any error we will try to resolve it okay so yeah we get the error let's try to figure it out why we are getting it okay 
so then we possibility we have not closed yeah we just forget to close the class definition so let's again run it and see whether uh, yeah it is not working this data is data so it name was variable name was data not the dat okay again error pairs are found three node star root okay so the error is just because here we have declared the name as node and root and here within the function we were using it as node so again let's run it now the another error that is star pair pair star funk okay um, within this function pair star okay we are passing root into the method means here funk root i am passing so yeah we were getting this error just because uh i just forget to put a semicolon here and let's try to run it and yeah it is now throwing some other error let me resolve it so let me again run it and you know, we are getting error that is create free so so actually the error was just uh, like i have resolved the error and the error was just because here we forget to return the max minus one okay so make sure that you here in the longest invariant path you return max minus one now let's try to run it and here most probably it get accepted and it is accepted that's all for this video i hope you like the content and you get the concept of this question so it's my request you try to solve it by yourself you try to uh, make a dry run of this question and then watch the solution video that's all for this video let's meet in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy